After watching the latest episode of the Nixonverse and seeing the events that happened within it, I started thinking about the nature of the Horned Serpent as a whole and how it reacts and interacts with the universe around it. We learned much about the Horned Serpent over the course of the Dean vs. Run, with the entity originally being the first president of the United States, George Washington. After attempting to cut down his father's apple tree, which in reality was a special tree, George was transported into Wonderland, where he attempted to climb the trees in an attempt to escape. This, however, would backfire, as the nature of Wonderland and the trees within it caused George to be warped and disfigured beyond imagination, turning him into the Horned Serpent. After this, he would manipulate most of the events in the modern mythos, with various monuments being built to contain pieces of him, and thousands being sacrificed to him throughout these structures. This would culminate in the Great Division, an event where the Horned Serpent would emerge from Earth, destroying it and the entire reality of the Deanverse, creating the Corner Fork and their world. During the series, we see how Wonderland works and functions, with the realm being consisted of several special trees stacked on top of each other, with the realm itself functioning outside the normal confines of space and time. We see that people stuck within the dimension are constantly zapped and warped throughout moments in time, with these warps putting massive strain on said person, which we see in great detail with Virginia. Later on in the series, we learn that another name for the dimension is the Horned Serpent Metastructure, which means that it has something to do with both the Horned Serpent as well as the overall structure of universes, which matches up with the Horned Serpent metaphysical nature. Another interesting detail is the anti-airship death ray seen in Rockefeller Revelations, which is seen to have the skull of a massive snake within it, which is extremely similar to the Horned Serpent's own skull. Well, what we know about both the Horned Serpent and Wonderland, my theory is that due to the nature of the Horned Serpent combined with it and Wonderland's metaphysical abilities, the beasts might have existed in multiple universes all at once, not being contained to only one at any one time, with the entity being able to interact with any of the universes whenever it pleases. This could explain the giant snake skull within the death ray, and this could have been a horned serpent from another time and universe, with the skull being transported into the D-verse through Wonderland, even if the horned serpent slumbering in Earth's core is still very much alive. This could also explain why the Crescent King eventually became the Horned Serpent, and the overall quote, you didn't think this could happen only once, seen in the series, as the creation, awakening, and the very existence of the Horned Serpent could have happened multiple times in various different universes, with its creation being the only thing that changes within the differentiating universes.